Hey guys, it's Lauren Espinagy here and welcome to Cycle 2, Episode 11 of Spellbound Dolls. In this week's video, I asked the contestants to do Disney themes, so anything to do with Disney, they could dress up as a character or just find a way to incorporate Disney in their photo. I actually have a guest judge today, so Super Freya Galen Productions um, is guest judging, which I'm so excited about. She got second place in Cycle 1 for Spellbound Dolls, and I thought it would be perfect for her to guest judge for the Disney week because I know she loves Disney, so I'm super excited about that, and I'm also so excited to show you guys the pictures, so let's get started. Okay, so here is Ginny's photo. I adore this photo so much, and I know you said that you, like, went to the craft store to, like, do, like, make this, and that's, like, dedication. So, I think this turned out amazing. I love the ears. I love, like, the pants. Like, it, it just screams Mickey Mouse and Disney so much. I love the background and how it's kind of, like, plain, so you really focus on, um, Ginny. I don't know. I just really like it. So, I think you did such a wonderful job this week, Ginny. Great job. I love your photo. The costume is just so adorable. I don't really think the background matches the Disney theme, but it does add some interest. So, good work. Next up, we have Natalie. I love this picture. I love the Minnie and Mickey, and I also love how she's wearing an Elsa dress, and the hair also looks super cute. Um, I really do like this picture, but my only complaints are I felt like you could have maybe put a cam the camera in, like, a different angle to get them more, like, so the eyes are, like, right in front of the cam- how- how do I explain this? So she's looking directly at the camera. That's what I meant. And also, I do feel like this picture is kind of simple. I know you definitely incorporated Disney a lot, but the background's just kind of plain. Um, but other than that, I really did like this picture. Great job, Natalie. Natalie, I really like your photo. However, I think the first things that caught my eyes were the stuffed animals. So maybe adding some depth and putting the stuffed animals more in the background, it would give the photo more focus on the doll. So next up is Sage. I really do like your picture. I love how she's dressed up as like a village belle, and I think you did a great job of showing that. I believe this is from the live action movie. Um, and I love how she has the pin trading lanyard, and I love how there's actual, like, pins on there. I also love the autograph book and pen, and then the doll, uh, or the bell doll, which also is such a nice touch. Also, did you make the bell doll? Because if you did, that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I also love how the background is, like, a, a like, a plain, like, brick, and I think this picture is fairly simple, but you incorporated so much Disney that I think, like, it, it makes perfect sense, and I think you did a great job. Sage, I love this picture. The bell costume is so cute. The only criticism I have is that the camera is not at eye level with the doll. I think it would be a better picture with that little tidbit. Okay, so now we have Riley. I am obsessed with this picture. I love it so much. I love all the, like, the little Disney, like, figures and like toys and I think you did such an amazing job with this I also love the tv with like the Disney um intro thing I don't know if you green screen that or if that's an actual picture but it looks really good and I also love the Cinderella poster I think the Tigger Funko Pop is so cute by the way like it's adorable um I think you did such a great job and she's also wearing like a Mickey shirt and this picture is just great I love it so much I actually don't have any complaints for this picture so great job Riley Riley, I love this picture. I think some of the Disney trinkets could have been blurred a little bit more, but even without it, you can still tell that the doll is the main focus, so good job! Okay, next we have Molly, and she did Vampirina from the Disney Junior show Vampirina, and I think you did such a great job with this. I definitely don't think this picture looks too edited. I think you did such a great job, and I also I love the bats. I don't think the bats look too edited either. Um, I also love just, like, the plain black dress. That's actually, like, such a nice dress. And um, my only, like, complaint is I know you probably made everything kind of black and white for a reason, but I do think the picture, especially with the black dress and the bats, are kind of, it's kind of dark. So maybe, um, I don't know, like, maybe not put everything in black and white. But other than that, I really did love your picture. I do think it looks really cool. Um, also, I love her hair. I think you did a wonderful job with that. So, um, other than those, uh, other than those few complaints, I don't have any more. So I think you did such a great job this week, Molly. 
Motley. This picture is great and edited wonderfully. Everyone has their own ideas when they hear Disney. And in my opinion, this picture doesn't necessarily scream Disney, but the picture overall was photographed outstandingly. So in first place, we have Riley. Then second place goes to Sage. Third place goes to Ginny. And then our bottom two are Molly and then Natalie. So to Natalie, I really did like your photo. I just wish you could have added something to the background and also that the doll was looking more towards the camera. But other than that, I really did like your picture. Molly, I really did love your photo. I just thought maybe it was a little too dark, so maybe lighten it up a bit. But other than that, I really did like it. So sadly, the person who I'm going to have to eliminate this week is Natalie. I really did like your picture. I just wish you could have added something more and she was looking more towards the camera. I loved having you compete. You're such a talented person and please don't let this like change that or anything. You are amazing and seriously so talented. Um, I'm so sad to see you go. I loved having you compete in this cycle and you got fifth place out of like 13 people. So you still did such an amazing job. So... Um, I'm so sad to see you go, but you are still amazing, and don't let this change. So before I announce the next theme, I just want to say everyone who's watching can actually vote for their favorite picture up in the card, and then I will tell you guys the results next week. Um, this doesn't, like, matter, I guess, like, in the competition, nobody will be eliminated, everybody, like, um, it's, it doesn't really change anything, but I thought it'd just be, like, a fun little way for you guys to, like, vote. So the next theme is going to be color week. So basically pick one color. You can pick whatever color. I'm not going to like assign people a color because I know like some people don't have like all different like colors of clothing. So just pick a color and make it as color like with that color as possible and just incorporate as much of that color as possible. So yeah, I'm super excited to see what everyone does. So the pictures will be due August 2nd, and you can send in a behind-the-scenes video if you guys would like to. I would prefer if you were to send it in through, like, Gmail, or or it doesn't have to be Gmail, but, like, email it to me, or if you were to share it through Google Drive, but if you do post it to YouTube, that's okay. It just takes a little while to actually, like, get it in here, because I have to, like, screen record, but um, it doesn't matter if you take a video or not. That won't affect you guys being eliminated at all. It's just the episodes are going to be getting a little bit shorter, so, yeah. So before I end this video, I just want to give a thank you to Super Freya Galen Productions for guest judging in this video. I loved having a guest judge and you did a great job. So thank you so much. And I believe that's all of the announcements I have. So I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.